What's up guys, today we have a lot of awesome packs to open, including those first edition Legacy of Darkness packs. These were purchased on Ruxin34.com and they said they wanted them to be opened on the channel. So that's what we're gonna do here. If you guys want to do something like this, check out Ruxin34.com. You can also buy on there and have them shipped to you. So make sure you check that out if you guys wanna buy some packs. Let's get into it. Quick giveaway, we'll be giving away these three cards. This is an XYZ Dragon Cannon from Dark Revelation. All you have to do, like this video, be subscribed. Let me know your favorite pack or favorite card in the video. We're gonna start off with the least vintage we have Matthew D has 10 ghosts from the past and 10 starter server drive. So we are ghost hunting to start off this video. Then we have some Pharaoh Servant original and first edition Legacy of Darkness. So let's go ahead and get into this Matthew D. Let's pull you some epic cards. Here we go. Buster Dragon. Let's pull a ghost rare out of 10 packs. Miss Valley Baby Rock. Monarchs Erupt. Set of Andreas. And a Meteor Black Comet Dragon. Let's just alternate, go into Stardust Overdrive. It's a pretty nice set from 5Ds. It's a lot older than Ghosts from the Past. Ghosts from the Past is from, you know, this year. This set is from, I think, 2011, 2010, something like that. Spider Spider, maybe 2009, actually. Wolf and Cheap's Clothing. And a Rinyan, a Lightsworn Rogue, and a Spiritual Forest, Necromancer, Attack Pheromones, and Woodland Archer. Let's see. Let me know in the comments, will we pull a ghost shirt? Will we pull an ultimate rare? We could also pull old school secrets. What will we pull today? Will there be big pulls? Will there be small? Heo's Unru, that's not a small one. Cosmo. And Lavalval Salamander. It's funny because these only have five and they're just so much smaller. I mean, it's the same amount of packs there and it looks like there's way more of the Stardust Overdrive. Just a lot more cards. All right, Spiritual Forest, Attack Pheromones again. Swap Frog, not bad. Reptilian Gorgon. Dejin, Releaser of Rituals. Gemini, Booster, Energy Bravery, Savage Coliseum, Herculean Power. Ghost from the Paw. All right, don't forget that this Saturday I will be opening every 2007 10 ever made. So that includes Rainbow Dragon. That includes uh, some other epic ones like Destiny Hero Plasma. And I'm, I'm just kind of blanking on the other ones. What were the other ones? They're right behind me. I, I could just look, but... There's some good ones. I showed them in another video, but we will open all six of them in one video. And if you guys remember, we've done that for 2002 through 2006. So if you have not seen those videos, check out the playlist up there. Herculean Power, we got the Spider Spider. Shine Palace and the Spiritual Forest for a Necromancer and Reptilian Spawn. So that should be a fun video. Those usually are a lot of fun, even if the pulls aren't the best. Sometimes they're really good and sometimes they're terrible. It just depends. You know, that's just how it is with tins. T-I-N, tins. <laughs> the... Uh, a breed hair, all right. So far we have not pulled much, like at all. So it's been it's been pretty rough. Tuned to Magician, we got the Achalion. Give it a booster. Ooh, Earthbound Immortal. We're a Kukoraska, ultimate rare. We pulled this guy a few times out of our, where's my sleep? Okay, out of our Stardust Overdrive pack. So we have done pretty good. Stardust Overdrive seems to have a ton of Earthbound Immortals, but that is a really cool one. Ultimate rare, that's a good start for the foils. All right, to finish the pack, we have not too much going on there. Ghost from the Past has not done us any favors so far. Let's see if we can break that right here. We almost spoiled it. We didn't, though. Sunvine Maiden, Tackle Crusader, Buster Dragon, Galaxy Eye Cypherx. That's probably what the best card we've pulled so far out of Ghost from the Past. It's not bad. Stardust Overdrive. One ultimate rare so far. We never pulled the ghost out of this set, so will this be a Gemini counter? Spiritual Forest. Metabo Shark. I don't remember this guy. This guy definitely looks like he's from Nemo, for sure. Finding Nemo. <laughs> he looks like that big shark, you know. Very sharp friends, not food. You guys know. Dijin, uh, Energy, and Insect Neglect. Ghost from the Past. Come on, give us something good. I mean, there's not a lot in this set besides the Ghost Rares, but just at least give us a couple of decent cards. Emergency Teleport's actually up to like eight bucks from this set now. So it would be a decent pull. To, a decent one to pull, I should say. Because of the... Uh, now semi-limited rather than being limited it's not an unlimit it's a uh it's an increase in the amount you can play i should say generally sort of rituals all upside down here we've got the dark spider spider web level eater and gemini spark okay so so far um a couple foils on a starter server drive one decent card out of ghost from the past let's see if we can change that heals on root cosmo salvage hieratic seal of creation not too good all right matthew d let's get him something good Reptilian Viper, Ritual of Grace, Marae of Greed. Ooh, an upside down Quaki Miru Maximus. That's pretty cool as an ultra. And then we got the Fortune Lady Water, 
Earthbound Spider, and then we got the Relinquish Spider. All right, a lot of spiders. That's a pretty cool Ultra Rare. I like it. I don't think it's a terribly expensive card, but it's definitely a cool looking one for sure. That'd be a cool ultimate. I, I think it's an ultimate in the set. Ghost, come on, Ghost. We need you to step it up because right now it has not been too good. Metapulse, Draco Knight, Time Thief, Star Knight Flame Out. Continuing to flame out like the flame out. Okay. Not the best joke. Let's continue. Speaking of epic videos, though, even though I didn't say anything about epic videos, there's a massive Rux special. I did this yesterday as well. Yesterday's video, load, Point of the Red Lotus used to be 20 bucks. Now it's like one, unfortunately, because it got reprinted, but it's still pretty good. Yesterday's video, we opened up a ton of epic old school stuff. We opened LOD, PGD, and Dark Crisis first edition packs, and we got a really good pull. So go check that out. It was a lot of fun. It was a good video. I'll go link it up here. Tackle Crusader and Sanavalon Dryano. We've seen him a few times. Let's continue. Three more packs in this opening. Can we pull fire? Reptilian Medusa. Time Passage. Regulus. Quick Draw Sangron. Earthbound Revival. Spiritual Force. Woodland Archer. Two more packs for Matthew B. Let's go. Ghost Rare right here. Miss Valley Baby Rock. Monarchs Erupt. The novel Andreas. And that's not that's not a terrible one. I don't think it might not even be a dollar, but it used to be worth like three dollars. I think it fell down though, but not terrible. Final pack right here of Stardust Overdrive for Matthew D. Let's get him something good. This one feels odd. Maybe it's because this was in here. Alright, let's get these out of the way. Let's see what we can do. Final pack. Ritual of Grace, Bending Destiny, Energy Bravery, Insect Neglect. Fortune Lady Dark and Attack Pheromones. Ah, okay. Nothing in the last pack. We did pull this Ultimate Rare, so not completely terrible, but not the best pulls to start the video. Next up, we have Tyler A with five Pharaoh's Servant Original Packs. Then we'll be going into the first edition Legacy of Darkness. So we're going original. It's actually older than Legacy of Darkness, probably. I don't know if the Unlimited print was older than first edition or not, but it might have been. Um, so it's around the same time. So let's see if we can pull... An Epic Buster Blader, Thousand Eyes Restrict, something crazy. Mitch Azuri on the first pack, three out of Guido, Infinite Dismissal, Bubonic Vermin, ah, oh, the rat, seven completed. Starting off with just a regular rare, Mitch Azuri. That was in the second set ever in Duel Links, I believe. It was in that the first mini box, I should say. It was a pretty good card in that, you know, in that time, in that small pool of cards, but not great. Mystic Probe, we got the Solomon's Law Book. Deep Sea Warrior, these are super miscut if you guys see this. Oh, the Ruxin special into the Imperial Order. And I is this, is this, I think it's Reverse Secret as well. Yeah, so if you check this out, you see how the lines like Chaos Emperor Dragon are going this way. The lines right here are going this way. So this is a Reverse Secret Rare. It seems like if you pull a Secret Rare out of these Ferris Servant Packs that I'm selling, they are all reverse secret rares. It's very interesting. So that's really cool. I mean, it's it's unique. So it's definitely awesome. Reverse secret rare imperial order. Blind comic here. You got the uh, bubonic vermin. That's a good start to these five packs. Three more packs here before we get into first edition Legacy of Darkness. Let's see if we can pull a secret out of there as well. All right. Imperial order is a very good card. I mean, it's still used in the meta today, which is crazy. Even with the errata, it's still used. Invitation to a dark sleep. Mystic Probe. Let's not rock it special again. Light Force Sword. I get a respect play. Yurich and Kuwagatsa. Souls of the Forgotten. And Gist. Two more packs. Kyler A. Let's get him. An epic. Ultra rare. Attack and receive. We can attack and we can receive. We got the World Suppression. Dark Fire Soldier number two. And the Shallow Grave, Cyber Falcon, Shadow of Ice, Drill Buck, and Darkfire Soldier number one. Final pack of the five. We've already gotten a secret. That's pretty good. If we get something else, then that's incredible. Two out of five of the secret. Look at the back centering here. You guys see this? There is barely a top border at all. That is crazy. There's a little ding on that too. Not too much, but... We have Science Soldier, Driving Snow. Harpy's brother, the original name. Rain of Mercy. Gear Free the Iron Knight. And there's a little bug flying around right as we pull Gear Free the Iron Knight. But that is a really cool super rare. One of the best supers in the set. Just for iconic purposes. So honestly, two out of five is pretty good. Dark Fire Soldier, Metal Detector, Flying Comic Carry, and Three-Headed Guido. That bug is getting on my nerves. 
Next up, we have Tyler G. He had two packs, but he wanted me to weigh them and open the heavier one. He doesn't really work with Legacy of Darkness very much. I told him that, but he said, let's go for it anyway. Let's go for the heavier one. So we're going to open the heavier pack. This one, it was actually a big difference. I think his other pack, his lighter pack, could be missing a card, or this one has an extra card. I'm not sure. We got a Super Robo Yaru, and it's really weird with those situations. Sometimes there's, there's less cards, but there's like a secret in it. And then sometimes there's like just one less card. It's just a common. It's just completely random. We got a wing minion. First edition LOD, by the way. We could pull, this is classic LOD centering. All the centering has been bad so far, but we could pull Injection Barry Lily out of here. We could pull Tyrant Dragon. We could pull Yamada Dragon, all this crazy stuff. So let's see. Azura Priest. So we did get a super out of the slightly heavier pack. It doesn't necessarily mean that the weighing worked or we just got, you know, we may have just got lucky, but it did have a hollow. So that's pretty cool. Azura Priest, super rare. And that's, you know, it's a go format card. It's not necessarily great, but sometimes it's pretty good in go format. It's especially good for getting rid of scapegoats. And then if they don't play scapegoats, if they use like a floater, such as like Shining Angel, it's very good because it can hit that. They'll bring out the other one, hit the next one, hit bring the other one, etc. Three more Legacy of Darkness first edition packs. This one's for Jared B. One pack. Let's see if we can pull him an epic card. All right, so far we've already gotten a foil in this opening. That's pretty good. Super Robo Yard. We got a Bark of Dark Ruler. Wing Dominion. Burst Breath. And here we go. Ooh, a Fiend Skull Dragon. So we've got another foil. We've gotten a super rare twice. Fiend Skull Dragon with absolutely horrendous centering. You guys see that huge border, but that's pretty normal for Legacy of Darkness. But that's a pretty cool card that can be used in GOAT format as well. You can throw that in your extra deck. If you're playing Metamorphosis, it works out pretty good. Anaba, that's actually a short print, I think. And Double Snare. Devil Snare. And we have another first edition LOD for Connor C. Let's see what he can pull out of here. So far, we've had some pretty good pulls. Two Supers. Can we up it with an Ultra or a Secret? Frontier Wiseman. Possessed Dark Soul. Super Rejuvenation. Bad reaction to some mochi. That's some bad lunch. And an ultra rare Yamada Dragon. So we're finally pulling some stuff out of this box. So far, people had only pulled one super rare. So now we've pulled three supers and an ultra. It's a 36 pack box, so there should be a couple other ultras and maybe a secret. That's an incredible looking card. It's super creepy. And speaking of, you know, Harry Potter, this kind of looks like a Harry Potter like kind of thing. So that's that's very cool. Yamada Dragon, the centering is is awful but that's still i mean look at the back wow the top is nearly gone the bottom is huge that's still a great pull though we got convulsion nature woodland sprite gunfire and wing beat we never want to see this guy again and the final pack of the video is another first edition legacy of darkness for haze b can we pull haze another big card we've already had great pulls in this video from lod and then we, even from pharaoh honestly pretty good other than the star server driving ghosts which we did pull an ulti out of there which is not bad smoke grenade is a decent card it was worth a lot until it got reprinted, but still a short print, which is, you know, cool. Skull Knight number two. We've got a Dragon's Rage. Oh, and a second coin toss. So we're ending it off with a rare, but still an epic opening today. And I appreciate all you guys who bought from the Ruxin34.com store. If you guys are interested in doing so, check out the link in the description or just type in Ruxin34.com slash shop. You guys will see everything available on there. I'm going to be putting some extra stuff on there soon. But before we end the video, I have to shout out my ultimate supporters on Patreon and YouTube. We have yeah. TCG Trusted Cards, Toe and Fo Show, Tomato Juice, Stanley, Mike Nance, and Mimic Gecko. Thank you guys for supporting the channel. And that's it for this video. I will see you guys later. Peace. Shining Abyss. Ooh, the Revival Jam. Oh, and oh!